Boulder <laughs> Council Bluffs. 578 miles. We got this. All right, so it is Sunday, Jul July 14th. One week from today is the start of Ragbri. This is the most beautiful pie I've ever seen in my life. Do you know what Ragbri is? If you don't, I'll link some videos below, but it's a gigantic bike ride all the way across Iowa. It is so much fun. It is pretty much a rolling county fair of pure Americana goodness. And I'm sitting there packing up all my stuff, getting ready, because my mom is gonna go, Dana and Xantha are gonna go, some other friends are gonna go. I'm finally bringing the people that I love most out to Ragbri because, you know what, I love sharing places and things that I love. And we're all going together. And then I started thinking, they're gonna drive out there. I was gonna drive out there. I don't have a whole lot to do this week, so I'm gonna ride my bike out there. Great idea, huh? Yeah, it is. The ride starts in Council Bluffs, Iowa, which is essentially a twin city with Omaha, Nebraska. I just plugged in those coordinates because I've never ridden out east from Colorado. It is 578 miles away, so pretty much 600 miles. I have six days to get there, so that is, that is 96.3 miles each day to get to Ragbri on time. I think I can do it. Heading out east, there's not gonna be any mountain passes. Uh, it might be a little bit boring out there. I've actually never ridden through eastern Colorado and southern Nebraska. It is going to be hot. The temperatures this week in Boulder are Monday 88, then 91, 93, 97, 96, and that's Boulder. Heading out east, it's gonna be even hotter, so it's going to be a scorcher. But there are some positives about riding a bike through hot weather. I definitely don't need to pack a heavy jacket. I'm not even gonna bring a sleeping bag. It's gonna be way too hot at night. I'm just gonna bring a little silk sheet. Come to think of it, it's gonna be so hot, I'm just gonna wear my Speedo all day, every day. USA, USA! Just kidding, I'm not gonna do that, and I'm sorry you had to see that. So my packing list isn't gonna change much for this ride as compared to any of my other bike tours. I'll have like two pairs of shirts, two pairs of shorts, a tent, and... You know what else. Ole, 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 ole. Frijoles, frijoles. This is a very special bag of beans. You can only buy them in Mexico, and I've been saving them for a special occasion. I'm really excited about this ride, and I feel fortunate that I have the ability to take a week and go traveling through Colorado. A part of, Co a part of Colorado that I've never seen before. What? How did you get into my house? My neighbor Riley just busted into my house. Why don't you come on over here then? So, ladies and gentlemen, this is the sweet Riley. She is my neighbor. What are you doing here? Mm. Mm. She's we're taking what? All of these? You're taking all of those. That's my cash for rag rice so I can buy pie. If, cool. you, if you take those, I won't have any money for pie. All right, you can stop counting there's my money. What, what 14 $20. There's 14 $20 bills? That's great. That's a lot of pie. Put it down. And I'll take all of these. Bye. <laughs> Riley, get over here. Say hi money, to everybody. Money, money, money. <laughs> Say hi to everybody. Wait, I want to do something for a second. So Riley usually comes over for little treats. I buy her little candies, sometimes ice cream. But today I don't have any of that, so why did you come over? Okay, you really want to know? I really want to know. To dye your hair pink! To dye my hair pink? Yeah. <laughs> to dye my hair pink? Yeah. That's what I want to do. That's what you want to do. What do you say? Should I dye my hair pink? I've never done that before. Yes. <laughs> say yes. <laughs> Say yes. Okay, let's do it. Down here. Sit down here? Yep. Over the years, she has put makeup on me many, many times. She loves putting makeup on me. Okay, so this is permanent dye. It is? Yeah. Okay. So you better be ready for it. So I'm just gonna do this part and this part, okay? Okay. <laughs> it doesn't really look good. It doesn't look good? Because I don't want to mess up. Do you want me to mess up? No, I don't. I like the top of my head, not the side of my head. I need to have blonde hair like you to make this work. Ah! Don't look! Hold on, let me introduce your mom. So this is Summer. This is Riley's mom. Hi, Summer. Hola. Hola. Yay, this is exciting. Yeah, why? So, but you're painting his scalp. <laughs> That's what I told her. She's just painting my head. It's fine. Don't it's worry. fine. Don't worry him. 
It probably will get into the gray hairs better than yeah, the Yeah, how about you hair. dye some of my gray hairs out? It's a great <laughs> idea. Summer, are you, are you gonna dye your hair pink? No. Why not? We have all the whole family working on my head here. Dye my hair, not my face. <laughs> all right, Riley, are we almost done with this? I have things to do. I'm looking pretty, pretty in pink. I'm not quite sure why I said yes to this, but thank you, sweet little Riley. All right, back at my house. I guess I'm gonna have a little bit of pink hair now. The things we do to make children happy. So, back to the bike ride. I'm excited about this. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Rag ride's gonna be incredible. And uh, it's gonna be an adventure. Like, I don't know how or where I'm gonna go every day. I'm gonna be navigating every day, sleeping wherever I sleep. It's all part of the fun. I'm sure I'm gonna meet amazing people as I go along. I always do. I'm gonna be sleeping under the stars and enjoying Mother Nature. Good morning, everybody. Ready to ride way out east. It's, you know, not the typical beautiful side of Colorado. Usually people go west when they want to see the epic Colorado landscape, but hey, you know what? I was that way, so I gotta go that way. I'm taking my priority 600 for this adventure. Got two water bottles up front, two water bottles right here. Got two rear panniers, couple little bags. Oh yeah, I bet you're curious about my hair. It's not like bright pink, but there's a little bit of tint in there. Yeah, feel good about it. I'm using my friend Google Maps here to get me to Council Bluffs, Iowa. Pretty easy. Boulder, Council Bluffs, hit the bike option. That's what you get. Looks pretty good. I think we're gonna see a lot of farm roads out there. No crashies, no whammies, no flatties. Let's do this. You know, I've ridden down this road a million times, multiple times a day, going to my mom's house or going downtown. But today I'm going on an adventure and it feels good. That's the adventure bell. And the thing about adventures is you don't know what's gonna happen. Like, I don't know where I'm gonna end up tonight, where I'm gonna sleep, what kind of food I'm gonna eat, what kind of people I'm gonna meet. All I know is I have to ride about 95.3 miles to be exact. What a great thing, huh? All I have to do for the next two weeks, really, is pedal all day long. Bye, Boulder, love you, see you in a couple weeks. That's probably my last view of my hometown flat irons right there. Woo. They have some good looking mountains, aren't they? I just found a heads up lucky penny on the ground, but I feel like they bring me some sort of luck. I don't know what kind of luck, but it's kind of like a good omen, kind of like the no crashies, no whammies chant. I feel like when I find one of these guys, it protects me in some way. Today is one of those choose your own adventure days. My route is definitely not set in stone. I'm just gonna play it by ear. Play it by series ear. That big ass mountain right there is Long's Peak. Airplane, pause. Anyway, that big mountain over there, Long's Peak, beautiful. It's called a 14er. In Colorado, we have a lot of mountains over 14,000 feet tall. That one right there is the one closest to Boulder, so I've climbed it a few times. The view from up there is spectacular. I don't exactly know what this is now, but Google told me to go this way. It's a little rough, but who cares? It's an adventure. Did you see me fall? I'm gonna blame it on the loose dirt. <laughs> Road 26 and a half. This is where I'll be if you need me.
You know, flying a drone while riding a bike is a bit of a trick, but flying a drone while riding a bike and swatting off horse flies is a whole new difficulty level. God, that sucked. I was like trying to get smooth shots and like uh, slapping around and wiggling around and trying to get them off me. Ah! The bad thing about farm roads are horse flies. Horse flies are the devil. They can just bite you right through all your clothes. Route 66. Can that really be true? I'm riding by this elementary school and it says it's 100 degrees at 10.30 a.m. I'm tempted to sit in that lazy boy. Somebody just turned on the wind machine. Ah! It's crazy how wind can just show up out of nowhere. Headwind sucks. Headwind sucks. What? Are you kidding me? This is so random. There's a mattress right here. Oh, look at this. I'm out here in the middle of nowhere. Laying on a mattress, loving life, even though there's some serious headwind. Oh my God, it smells so bad. If you were in a car driving by right here, this is where you'd roll up the windows. Most amazing water I've ever had. I mean that with all my heart. Nothing like ice cream on a hot day. Mmm, burrito. That is not the way I want the flags blowing. I'm in the bathroom at Dairy Queen cleaning up. I am a sticky dude. This is an Oreo blizzard. Look at that. Oh, oh, I've been dreaming of this. And I know that I already had ice cream today. But today is a two ice cream day. It's a hard one. Look at that. Barlow Road. That's the name of my nephew. I'm pretty happy right now. You want to know why? I have a big lane, big shoulder. I feel safe. It's gone down to a reasonable 85 degrees. And the headwind is the number one thing. The headwind is gone. I like the feel of this town. Smaller towns are a lot of times more welcoming to travelers. I don't know why that is, but I've found that to be true. And their slogan when you come in here is homegrown happiness. So I like that. There is official camping here. They even have bathrooms and stuff and there's a pool right there it's closed so maybe I'll sneak in tonight who knows Ooh, that was a long one I'm excited to be done so excited this place even comes complete with its own shower and then right after I got out this nice leader of a Boy Scout troop came over and said hey man why don't you camp at my house it's five houses down anywhere perfect down here you pick your spot, that's flat and nice. And, that's awesome. Uh, outlets there. Oh, perfect. Over there, water. Uh, you see you buff? Yeah. Me too, bud. All right. Yeah, go buff. Oh, oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> nice. Check it out. I got a new tent made specifically for bike packing. Pretty sweet. Nobody to cuddle with this time, though. It's okay.